Hello and welcome back here to the channel here for Horizon 4 in probably the most expensive car I've bought from the auction house. The brand new Corvette C8R. I'm on the wrong side of the road. The brand new Corvette C8R. We have it here for today. Did buy it. I think it was like 12 million when I bought it in the auction house. Just decided to pick it up so we can do a drive on it and get a little first impressions. And of course, you know we're going to be drifting this thing. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All just found in the description box below. Like I said, I did pick up this C8R from the auction house. Let's see how it drives. Drifts off the rip. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need a lot of work on it if we're going to be drifting this thing. So the C8R is now in the game, and it's definitely uh, an expensive car to get. So we did just decide to get it from the auction house. I know I probably could have got it other ways, but we decided to just buy one. Had a little bit of uh, disposable income here in Horizon 4. So... The car is definitely fun. I did build a drift car out of it in a set of Corsa. So now we are in Horizon 4. Back in the Horizon game. Okay, we dead. <laughs> and you know, we're going to be trying to build this thing into a drift car. But we're uh, totally just wrecking the car off the rip. Oops. I don't want to hit buttons. What am I doing? Go away, Anna. Don't need you. Oh, that's rewind. I was trying to find change view button, but apparently I don't know what my change view button actually is set up at. So unfortunately, we're not going to change views. There it is. So we do have paddle shifters that we can also run. But we're still using a clutch as well. So off the rip, this car handles quite well, actually. Ripping through the speed zone. Still got to use the clutch because we do have clutch turned on. Oh, that car was not a ghost when we hit it. So I feel like we should go set this thing in to the shop and see what we can do with it because, you know, we're going to try and see what type of suspension and things we can put on this car. And see if we can't get this thing really sideways. So let's go to the garage and see what we can do. go to festival garage yep so like I said I did build one of these back in a set of Corsa with the drift mod and it was kind of very fun so like I said I believe we did buy this thing for 12 it was like 12 grand or 12 yeah 12 mil so we bought it for 12 mil so we only have 5 mil left so we're definitely going to be uh trying to get some more funds in the game um i'm not trying to buy that i hit the wrong button we're gonna go to the garage and go tunes and upgrades so and see what type mainly the suspension that we can do on this car that is what i am super set on and we can do drift suspension so we're gonna put drift suspension in and then we're gonna put some sway bars in We're gonna use that we're gonna leave we're gonna put a cage in there because we need to we're gonna lighten it up all the way why not and we're gonna leave the factory brakes on there because I do think the brakes are gonna be okay so then we're gonna go drivetrain obviously we need a diff in the rear two way diff we'll up the clutch a little bit and then we're going to do some poke out in the front and some poke out in the rear I think we're gonna probably leave the factory wheels on and we're gonna leave factory tires size and then we'll leave street tires yeah we'll leave street tires on there and we're just gonna do bare minimum we're not gonna add any arrow or anything of that nature we're not gonna change it's all wheel drive. We're not going to do any engines. What engine swaps can you do? 7 liter V8, V10, V12, 
V12 Racing, 7.2 liter racing V8. So you can do a lot of motor swaps in this car. We're going to keep the factory motor in. We're just going to do this drift suspension in it and the sway bars and poke out the stance a little bit. We're going to adjust the suspension settings a little bit. And then we're going to go full send on it and actually see what we can do. Leave all that. Oh, that's a lot of camber. I want it lower. Oh, we're as low as we can go. All right. So we're just going to go factory drift suspension and everything on the car. So let's, uh, let's go for a drive. Now that we have drift suspension on the car, let's see what we can actually do. Can't break that in. Oh, there's still not a lot of angle lock. So even with drift suspension, this car does not have a lot of angle lock. It's not something I expected it to have, but I expected it to have a little bit more. And it actually does. So one of the most expensive drift builds that I have so far is this C8 right now because, I mean, 12, 12 million for the car is very high price tag and we may need to put way more power in this car if we want it to do what I really want it to do but I feel like it's it can it can get sideways just need to get used to all the weight in the back oh this thing is definitely a handful to try and drift not the easiest car that we've built here in horizon and we haven't been on Horizon in a minute, so we're definitely still getting used to the feedback and the physics. Let's make sure my dear eyes off. Yeah, we are. Wrong gear. We're gonna pop that motor. So if you guys have a C8R or a C8 here in Horizon, let me know what you guys did to it. Oh. I feel like this car needs a lot more power. Yep, we're kind of bogging out on power. So this thing's going to need a big power upgrade. So we may have to just put all the upgrades into it and see if that allows us to get a little bit more driftability out of this car because this is uh, not the easiest car to drift right now. kind of like drifts and then straightens up which I guess that would be because of the massive amounts of weight in the back of this thing definitely a fun little challenge uh, here on horizon 4 bringing back horizon 4 content here on the channel we're gonna loop that so if you guys want to keep seeing horizon 4 on the channel make sure you guys let me know down in the comments I think this thing needs more power it's got way more grip than it needs yeah it's got way more grip than it needs this thing needs a lot more power to be a crazy drift car but it's all right for the first rip i was gonna try to do fifth gear there but okay somebody's in math fields is or nope that was al collindale's car all right so let's go put more power into this thing because this is definitely not enough. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's go see what more power we can do and do on the factory motor before we go full balls to the wall with, say, turbos and bigger motors and things. So let's go upgrade. Power additives. Because right now we are currently at... I want to toggle my power. I'm trying to remember how to do this on a keyboard. And I can't really remember how to change You keep shopping, have fun. I'll talk how to change that in let me know when you're done. the actual controller. So we're just gonna go full out and hopefully by the end it'll tell us what our power increase is. Because I can't actually see my numbers. And we're doing this on a blind.
All right. Yes, install setup. So we are bumping up from 495 to 721 horsepower. I feel like that's going to be plenty to get this thing going. We may have to take this to the mountain because, I mean, we haven't been on the mountain road in forever. So why is my thing up there trying to go? We need to stay here. Stay full screen. All right. Oh yeah. I feel like that's the ticket we need. More power. Kind of just bogs in fourth, so we may have to do some drivetrain changing. Well, this might be able to tackle the mountain pretty well. I don't know if I will be able to tackle the mountain. The car might. So I think we're going to head to Fortune Island, go tackle the mountain to end this episode off here with the C8R here at Horizon 4. It's definitely fun to be coming out here again, checking out all the new cars and everything in the game. So let's go head to Fortune Island and uh, rip the mountain. All right, so we're here in Fortune Island for the final part of this episode. If you guys want to see another episode with the C8R, maybe going with some bigger motors, some force induction, let me know down in the comments if you want to see a part two of the C8. I say keep saying C8R because it's got a lot of power now. So we're gonna do an uphill run. Let's just see what we can do. Third gear, kick it in. I feel like we should need to do a gear race, gear change in this thing to get this to where we really need to. Because I feel like third gear is good, but it kind of tops out real quick. But we are not doing half bad. Oh, as I say that, we go sideways. A little bit too much. A little bit too much for me to correct. So if you guys know the episode from yesterday, Stay in Your Lane Challenge, this was the first place I did the Stay in Your Lane Challenge. I did it going uphill too. Missed my handbrake there. So I think we have a successful first half build of the C8 Corvette here on Horizon 4. So like I said, if you guys want to see a part two, maybe some, with some of the V8, V12 race motors, let me know down in the comments. We could do some force induction and try and dial this car in a little bit. Or we can switch up to another car. So if you guys have another car you guys want to see here in Horizon 4, maybe from grip to drift, let me know down in the comments. But I want to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the Horizon 4 coming back onto the channel, kind of bringing back nostalgia to where the channel started. So make sure you follow me on all social media, all of which you found in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Not 226, not terrible.